action. All right, this is a single wire, single radial. Just like the factory ones that come with the uh, Chelligans MC750. Just a single, single wire, silicone wire. I changed out the, uh, the factory ones because the factory ones just got a little bit kinky. And uh, whenever you wrap them around the form that came with the antenna, they would, they would get stuck in kind of that kinky shape. So this is just the exact same radial length just made out of silicone wire. I might have even dropped a gauge, maybe two. Forget what gauge this wire is. I should probably start making note of that because I do get questions. So we're gonna go ahead and do an experiment here. So let me get this uh, laid out and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm all set up with the uh, Chelligans here and I have a piece of uh, Potaflex 7 as my coax. All right, so there, there we are sitting here in the driveway with four radials uh, and who knows I think this you know will this thing reflect more being in the driveway probably because there's rebar in the driveway uh, who knows so let's go ahead and let's uh, take a look at our graph and see where we're at here all right I have set the the graph up for um, 14.050 well, let's go ahead and reset it and rerun it. Bunch of junk on my table here. Let's go ahead and turn on our analyzer. I want to go frequency, 14050. Check, good. Graph that frequency. So the blue represents the, um, the 20 meter band, but I'm at 14050. Okay, so at 14050, run it, and it's going to draw like a V. All right, so the lowest part of the V, so 1.0, 1.2, 1.5, way up there is 2 to 1. So we're 1.07 at 14.025, which me being a CW guy, that's great for me. Where that notch of the V is, if the notch is to the left, then you're long, so you need to shorten your antenna. If your notch is to the right, well, then you're too short and need to lengthen your antenna. And when you're using telescopic whip, obviously if you need to lengthen it, you lift more out, okay? Now that we've tested it on uh, 14, um, 14050, it tells us where we're best at. Let's go ahead and let's change our frequency. Let's go frequency and let's change it to 07050. Hit the check mark. Okay, now we're going to run it just to show you. All right, 10 to 1, higher than a 10 to 1 SWR everywhere. But now let's go out here and see this little adaptation cable that we've made, right? I've made a jumper wire. So right now, what's happening is I'm jumping around this 20 meter coil or the 40 meter coil. So I'm going to go ahead and undo my jumper. I'm going to move it away from each other just so it doesn't couple it all. All right, so that's all I'm doing. I'm unplugging that. Now, let's follow our coax all the way back. We haven't done anything else. I can see my shadow down there. All right, back to our graph. 7050. All right, and let's go ahead and say run it okay so you see we're at 1.5 and we're a little a little uh, long short we're a little short so we need to lengthen it just a bit in order to move that notch over to the center but it says that at 7.140 we're at 1.6 okay so that's all we would do is go lengthen that uh, coax a bit and that would adjust that and you just do the thing where you obviously walk back and forth, walk back and forth until, let's see, am I going to be in the view there? <laughs> you just walk back and forth if you like. But once you get to knowing your antenna and you know uh, where, where you can set it, especially this MC750, the telescopic whip actually has the megahertz written on it. Okay. Now here for me, it's a little bit different. I've, I've never set this up just in the concrete driveway before. But you see that little jumper, how it worked. It's able to unplug it. It was 10 to 1, more than 10 to 1 prior to me unplugging it. And now that it's unplugged, what's happening is I'm going through the coax, through the coil, and then through the whip. Right? As opposed to when the jumper is connected, you're bypassing that 40 meter coil. Anyway, uh, I've had people reach out to me about that jumper, how I made it. It's literally two ring connectors with a piece of wire in between them. Cut the wire and then 
put whatever kind of connector that you fancy. Uh, I had one that I did Anderson power poles with, uh, and this particular one, somebody wanted that one. And they're like, I'll pay you for it. Please send it to me. Oh, okay. So I sent it to him. Uh, so I had to make another one. Well, this one here just happens to be two, uh, two millimeter bullet connectors, uh, like you would get off Amazon and they're for RC car power connections, like inside of remote control cars, um, little bullet connectors so that you can connect and disconnect your battery inside your car, I guess. Don't know. Uh, but I bought a baggie of them off Amazon. They're pretty cheap and you just solder your wires to them and there you go. Uh, but yeah, so I hope that, uh, shows you how I measure and test my jumper and also how you can adjust your antenna. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Ed. Not sure how these videos are going to turn out. I, I kind of filmed more than one today. I'd like to make them separate just so folks can watch the one that they choose. Thank you to my supporters of, of my channel uh, who bought me these fancy uh, wireless mics and the camera that I'm using uh, that has really improved the audio and video of my channel. And I sure appreciate that. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Ed, W4EMB. We'll see you next time. Cut.